Hey, hey, this is Lady C coming back at you with another video. In this upcoming episode, I'm gonna be talking about my hospital stay. And when you are in the hospital and you're about to be discharged, they'll have different people coming by your room to talk to you about your care when you leave. You know, they'll have the social worker come by if you need certain services and stuff. And one of the things that they always have is someone comes by to find out if you have a religious community that you belong to. Because not only do they wanna make sure that you are set when it comes to care at home, but they also wanna make sure that you have your spiritual needs met when you leave the hospital. So I looked at JT and I said, well, should we tell her? So the JT said, yeah, let's, we'll tell her. We'll, we'll, we'll give our experience and you know what we've been through and you know our support system that we have after leaving the watchtower. So we sat there, we poured our hearts out. We told her all about us being on the internet and how we were former Jehovah's Witnesses and things like that. And she was so excited and so interested to hear what we had to say. Not only that, but when JT started telling her about the hospital liaison committee, she was very well aware of that because as a physician, a doctor, she had already met with those people at another hospital system. So she said she was very well aware of the blood issue, Jehovah's Witnesses and stuff like that, but she had never spoken to a witness like she was speaking to us as we were telling her our story about being former Jehovah's Witnesses, why we left, you know, the, the various challenges that doctors have with the, you know, Jehovah's Witness patients and things like that. And we were just telling her everything, you know? And so she was so interested in it that she went and got, some, got a piece of paper. She wanted to write down our YouTube channel and everything because she was really interested in what we had to say and she wanted to pass this information along to other people, you know? So, you know, it was a really good discussion that we had and, you know, we were kind of, you know, glad that we had made that connection to help somebody to understand about this group. Because it's just another way that you can actually spread the word, help people know, hey, look, we're advocates and we're showing doctors that, hey, look, the Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong in the area of blood and all these different other medical situations. You ain't gonna believe this. When I got discharged from the hospital, and you know, most hospitals, they have an online portal where you can go and you can read up on all of your notes that the doctors wrote in your chart. When I went in there, just about every paragraph talked about me being a former Jehovah's Witness. I almost freaked out. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So that means that when you're in the hospital and you're talking and you're blabbing your mouth and you're telling people things, they're, they're jotting all this stuff down, writing it up in your charts, you don't even realize it. So I recommend that if you're in the hospital and if you do want to have that conversation, you need to let them know, don't put this in my charts because you have to realize that, and I'm sure you know this if you're a, a former witness, you know how Jehovah's Witnesses view former Jehovah's Witnesses. So anybody that would read that chart that could be taking care of me, that could be a nurse, a doctor or anything, and they see that I am a former Jehovah's Witness, I'm not gonna get good care. So yes, that's right. If that nurse or doctor is a Jehovah's Witness or anybody in the hospital that knows you're a former witness, they're gonna start treating you like an apostate. So, you don't want them to be putting that in your record. And so after I left the hospital, I had to make sure that I went in there and told them to remove those instances of me being a former Jehovah's Witness. So I was like, so make sure when you go to the hospital, don't tell anybody about your religious affiliation because it may end up in your records. Anyway, I just want to come out and tell y'all that and share that story. And I'll see you on the next video.